Happy International Zine Month! Today is day 21 and the prompt for today is children. For me, that meant writing about my decision to live a child-free life. I am a 27 year old woman and I do not want children. No, I will not change my mind. No, I do not hate kids. No, I will not regret it when I am older. No, I am not worried about who is going to take care of me when I am old and frail. No, I am not less of a woman and my family is still a family without children. No, I am not single. No, getting pregnant will not make me feel different about my choice. No, I am not selfish. I do not think that the idea of choosing not to have children should be that radical. Yet when it comes up in conversation, I can see that my opinion is not shared by a lot of folks. I think it took me a while to realise that I wanted to live a child-free life. We were raised on the idea that having kiddos is really the only outcome of life. It is biology, right? Passing on our genes? Evolution? Only natural. I mean, that is not wrong. It is all of those things. But we also fly in metal boxes, eat food made by robots, and watch whole worlds behind a glowing magical screen. So I'm not sure the natural argument really stands up with any human behaviour in our modern world. The societal programming and pressures that we grew up with make the conclusion to live child free a little hazy, especially when you hit that baby making age and all your friends come down with baby fever. Stuart, my partner, does not want children either. He has it easier than me with this choice. Men are often patted on the back for dodging the bullet when deciding not to have kids, whereas women are seen as incomplete or broken or worse, sad and lonely when living a child free life. As if my uterus is all I am worth. I love Stuart and part of that love is our shared alignment in the future we want for ourselves. We're in a polyamorous relationship. At present it's just us, but if we happen to meet a potential partner or partners in the future that have children, we wouldn't be put off by that. Just because we don't want children of our own does not mean we would not entertain the idea of spending time with kids. Just because we don't want children does not mean that we hate children. (laughs) Although I do joke about that with my parents, but that's mostly because our family is built on dark humour. I've never judged anyone for deciding to become a parent, so why am I judged for the opposite? The expected done thing is not always the right thing for the individual. I'm happy in my child-free family. Stuart and I plan to raise a menagerie of fluffy, scaled and feathered children, and we'll be happy in that choice. There are lots of Hendersons and Joneses for us to share our love with, and where the bloodlines filter out, we have friends to pour our love into. Just because we decided not to mush our genitals together into a crying ball of our DNA does not mean we do not have a loving family. My child-free life will have kids in it. I will be thrilled to be an auntie, I will enjoy watching my friends raise their kiddos, and I would never bat an eye if I was asked to babysit. My child-free family is just as valid as your child fool family. I like my life. Part of me has been conditioned to say I should feel guilty for enjoying this child-free existence. But that's where I'm making my real choice. I choose to not feel guilty about not wanting children. You can read this story in all its details in my little zine, (laughs) as well as enjoying some cute pictures of me as a child. And drop me a comment down below if you're living child-free and happy about that. I'd love to start a discussion. And do hit that subscribe button if you want to see more zine related videos from me. But that's all for today. Bye!